What's up, everybody? I was on my way back from Sundance this morning. I figured what else is a great state of Utah have? So I figured I'd swing by Zion Canyon National Park. And here we have Angel's Landing. What a spot. It's, uh, it was a pretty, to so check this out, hang on. I mean, you, you've got to see it to really appreciate just how vast and expansive this whole, like, I hope, wow. I don't even know how many feet high up we are. Doesn't matter. Take my time coming back down, that's for sure. Um, yeah, it's pretty. Um, I was kind of bummed when I first got out here because it was all overcast. It got rained on a little bit coming up, but uh, it's nice because then the image isn't overexposed and you'll hopefully be able to see me for whatever I have to say. Sundance was a pretty good time. I got my, I, I went up there to bring the essentials to give it to someone I, I knew from Netflix and he was, I met him literally within three minutes of getting there. So like I could have just totally just turned around and drove back home. I didn't though, stuck around, watched a couple movies. Um, the first thing I managed to get into was called Strangerland. Um, because I was going to go see Stockholm, Pennsylvania, but I went to the Egyptian theater as was listed, but they have two Egyptian theaters. Like you can't give me a Greek theater, a Roman theater, just two Egyptians, seriously. And one was like an hour away. So I ended up missing the Stockholm movie, but instead I went to go see a stranger land starring Nicole Kidman and, um, J Jeff, J Voldemort's brother. And it's a story about uh, a troubled family living in Australia. And the, the marriage is kind of up in the air, and the, the kids sleep walks, and the daughter sleeps around. Just bad things happen at night with this family. Um, really wasn't my kind of movie. I guess it was well done. Some awesome use of aerial shots. Beautiful landscape in Australia. Kind of like Zion here. Um, and it's uh, it'll probably get released. Nicole Kidman's in it. So if you like the character-driven, simple family dramas, it's probably for you. After that... Oh, is it raining? Oh, no. Ah! 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 It's totally raining. Oh, sh. After that was a lovely little film from Ireland about a wench who just couldn't keep her lips off the bottle and the son who drove a cab to do anything to see get back on the wagon. It was a good movie. Grassland, really well done. Simple. This was, uh, I don't know, it, it wasn't like um, the, the Beast of the Southern Wild kind of small. But this was probably from what I saw, the little indie that could at the festival. I liked it. It was about alcoholism. You can't really fluff that up. Very simple story. Well done. Not a movie you watch, you know, too many times in a row, but... It was good, worthy of the, the Sundance. After that, let's see, there was, oh, there was one documentary, it was a mockumentary, and it was as if, like, the the camera, the person was an alien, and they had just landed, and it's Earth's leaders' reactions, just, like, the people at the UN and scientists and things like that. And it was a cool concept, really very clever. Um, years of found footage of interviews with these authentic, actual people, just hypothetically, how would you react, and everyone playing it off. Like, it was actually going down. It was cool. Um, it was, like, one long act one. Couldn't really go anywhere. Um, it was, like, the most unoffensive movie at the whole festival. It's still, like... But it was the one movie that I saw that somehow pissed somebody off because they were mad that they were tanks. And it was it was very patronizing of society. It was, But someone got mad, but they're entitled to it. That's what's great about art. The final thing that I saw before leaving was... I missed a bunch of movies, actually. It was too bad to, like... Because there's, some, there's like, an app to get in line to get tickets for these movies. And if you, if you blink, like, when they go up then it's done. You just need to be there. It's like eBay, but instant to everyone's on there just waiting, and then they click it and just total luck of the draw. And if you do blink on the luck of the draw, you're done. So I missed a couple movies, one of which was a documentary on National Lampoon I wanted to see. Another was on Scientology. A lot of, a lot of buzz about that movie the last couple months. Kind of a bummer. Uh, I missed that one. Um, but it was good. And then the last thing I did see was called Aloft, and it was Jennifer Connelly, and I forget the other guy's name, but it was a past and present story, the story of a mother and her son when he's a kid, and then when the kid's grown up looking for the mother again, they've parted ways and they're reuniting, and it was good. It was a French-UK film uh, by a Spanish director who missed her own Q&A after. It was the U.S. premiere of the film, and she missed... Oh, sorry, that battery died. Anyway, point of it being, Sundance was a very good time. If film is your ankle, you should totally check it out next year. It's like the Super Bowl coming a week early, and there's 140 teams playing. So, see you then.